My name is George Iceman Gervin. Uh, this is Dylan Brooks. What's up? This is Vince Carter. You're listening to the Three Point Conversion. Check it out. how your group responded to that challenge, especially down the stretch tonight. Yeah, I think it was just a, a mindset that we had to have going into the game. Uh, you know, coach walked in the locker room before the game and you know, just told us to be, be greedy. Um, you know, don't be satisfied with the, with the win last night. You know, come in tonight and with the same energy, same mentality, and uh, you know, just, just go hard and get, you know, try to get the win. And, uh, that's what we did. Cole, there have been some solid crowds so far in the season at home, but th did this one feel different, especially after Suggs and Jokic got into it? After what? Suggs and Jokic had a little extracurricular, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what that was, but shout out to Jay, always on the intensity. Um, yeah, no, the crowd was definitely into it. You know, it's been dope this year. Like, we were just saying to Pete in the locker room, I don't think I've seen you know, any games where we've seen more fans of the other team in the area so far. And that's just, that's something that we, we definitely noticed and we appreciate that for Paulo, after one of the and ones late in the fourth quarter, you guys got into a huddle really late in the game. What was said in that huddle to maybe, you know, get the win out late in the game? Who's the and one with? I think it was your and one. <laughs> we had a good huddle, but it was a huddle every time. It was nice, of course. We were just telling each other, man, like, stay solid. Uh, you know, obviously we had a, we, we went up three to four points. And we knew it was going to be uh, Jokic down the stretch, so we didn't want to, um, you know, give up any easy looks, um, especially from the three. And so that was kind of the main focus was taking the three point line away, and uh, you know, just making it tough on Jokic. Obviously, he can get kind of wherever he wants, but you just want to make it challenging and um, you know, put him a fight. And hey, shout out to Goga. He did a great job guarding. I ain't shout. I'm at, I'm at the show some love. Yo, Goga been that's balling, dog. We ain't shouting him out. Uh, Gotta give Goga some love, dog. A pal, just kind of building up that coach. Coach said here that you guys have really taken ownership of this team, and that was one of the big things that, that you showed during during the stretch run to, to close this game out. How how empowered do you guys feel to kind of solve problems and, and, and figure figure things out? I mentioned that you guys huddle a lot out, huddle a lot to kind of calm each other down, but what is that process like in, in, in a heated moment to to have the confidence to close a game out like this? Yeah, uh, I think like you said, just ownership. We want to be a great team. You know, the coaches can only do so much. And so we got to step up as players, uh, hold each other's feet to the fire, hold each other accountable, and um, but also, you know, be the common voice for each other. You know, nobody can, we can't let each other get flustered out there. So if someone makes a mistake or uh, or someone is, uh, you know, whatever starts to spiral, we got to, we have to bring each other back in and just, uh, you know, come together as a group. Paolo, man, you, Paolo, earlier you mentioned how uh, Jokic can kind of stretch the floor and be anywhere. When he comes down doing that point center thing, what's kind of the mentality of the team defensively when you see him coming down to do that? What adjustments do you make, if any? Yeah, uh, I think just, you know, like I said, he's going to get wherever he wants. Um, and I was kind of, we were all telling each other, you know, don't swipe down, you know, just show, show hands and try and make him score over the top. Even though, you know, if he scores, he scores his two points. You know, we don't want to over help or um, you know, overreact and then give up a three to Porter or uh, Caldwell Pope. So that was kind of our mentality, especially when we got up three or four points. Like, look, if he's going to kill us with two pointers, you know, we can live right now. Um, you know, we just don't want to give up the threes. Paolo, uh, four or five from beyond the arc tonight. Uh, he's now shooting 42% from three on the season. Uh, it makes the defense respect you a little bit more from downtown and gives you more more room to, to operate uh, going to the, the bucket. Can you talk about your your growth from the three point line and just how that opens up your game for you? Yeah, I think just uh, one of the things I just honed in on over the summer. Uh, obviously, I think you know a lot of teams' plans is to go under, let me shoot, uh, and whatever, and stop me from getting to the rim. So my whole thing is just making them pay. You know, I've, I've always been a good shooter. So just believing in it and then taking the right ones too, um, the ones that are in rhythm, the ones that feel good. And uh, when I do take them, you know, shooting them with confidence. You know, there's no, you know, no waver in every shot I shoot, I think is going in. So um, that's just the mentality and I just shoot it well, so. We saw uh, 
just either of you, uh, we saw Jalen and Goga hit some clutch free throws there down toward the end of the end of the game there to, to seal it. Just what does it say about those guys to kind of step up in that in those moments to take those shots? Those were big free throws. Shout out to them. I was really calm and composed of them. <clears throat> um, yeah, we, we've been working hard for each other this evening. Uh, we had some struggles earlier in the season, and um, it's glad that we got that together. It's good stuff. Yeah. I'm cold. Um, second unit second came in, especially early in the fourth quarter, really kind of brought the team back in the game. And the second unit's been pretty really solid. All, all season, but how, how important has it been to kind of have that have that energy coming off the bench? Yeah, man, I think um, we got a second unit where we had five dudes who probably start on a different NBA team, but you know, we've all kind of bought in and um, just I think we've done a great job of kind of playing for each other, and I think that's what really kind of got us in back uh, into that game in that fourth, started that fourth quarter. I think um, we were down six going into the fourth quarter. We might, we might have got down nine, but then, you know, we stayed the court. We got some, we got in that paint, and, you know, we might have had some, some looks in the paint, but we made that one extra pass. We got some, I think we got like three straight threes, which got us back into that game. I think uh, Mo had one, I think Joe had one, and I think Gary had one. Those were just, just, we just, it was all just that trust factor. And it was, um, it was, that, was, that was really big, and I think that turned point in the game, because I think at that point we kind of, I think we might have got up a couple points, and I don't think they got it. They might have got up one, I think, at the end of the game, when it was 113. That, um, that kind of got us that lead. I think we did a great job of, of keeping it maintained. Thanks, guys. All right, we'll be back. With